In this tutorial, you will learn how to add free fonts to Photoshop on the Mac. Adding fonts to your existing collection is very important because it can spice up your design and graphic portfolio. Most of the time, you will get much better results by using fonts that don't come stock with the Photoshop library. First, go to www.defont.com. Defont.com has a lot of great free fonts for you to start using in Photoshop. It has all of its fonts categorized in easy to find sections. So, if you want a cartoon font, simply look under the Fancy tab and you'll see Cartoon. This will give you many options to choose from. Next, click Curly under the Fancy column. Once you do this, all of the fonts for this category will show below. Scroll down to check them all out. Let's download the Alice in Wonderland font. Click Download. The download button is gray and is located to the far right of the font name. It will only take a few seconds for your font to download. Next, unzip the font. Locate our downloaded font and simply left click on the zip file and the archive utility will unzip it for us. Head back to the download sections of the computer and you will see the blue folder holding our font content. Then, open the font book application. Spotlight search for font book. The font book is where we are going to be adding our recently downloaded Alice in Wonderland font too. Next, locate the font. Click File, Add Fonts. The hotkey for this command is Command O. You will then begin locating the unzipped font folder. Ours is saved in the download section. Navigate to here and you will see our folder. Add the font. Double click the blue folder that contains our font content. You will see the font named with a .ttf extension. This is a very common font format. There can also be a .otf extension. Double click the font and it will automatically import to your font book. Lastly, check out the font in Photoshop. Open Photoshop and view your font library. You will soon locate the font we added to our font library. Alice in Wonderland. Leave your comments below or contact us by email. This was a howtech.tv tutorial. Thanks for watching.